Hey, hey, good morning. Thank you for starting your week with us. It's a Monday in October, so you know what that means. A lot to get into here on First Take, especially today. We're all here in studio. Skip Ayless, Stephen A. Smith. I'm Molly Karam. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. How y'all doing? Mm. Mm. I'm going to shake your hand nope, now because I, I got an idea. I won't want to shake it in I a couple of minutes. I can't let you. You can't? Because I don't want you to get sick. You know I'm on Oh, you're oh. sick? Exactly. Oh, you're, boy, I see, you... I could have gotten you sick, but I looked out. And I didn't do you that. You got me you sick enough last well. night. Appreciate yeah, so, that. But, but, yeah, with those tweets. Yeah, I, 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 can't, I, cannot, I cannot promise, even on a day like today, that I'm not going to make you sick mm. because I, can't, I, I must tell you, I am looking forward to today's show, especially sure. with this subject. Well, I shouldn't say especially. This comes second today. The to stage later, is yours. But I can't wait for this one either. All right, gentlemen, let's do it. The Cowboys losing the Superdome in overtime thanks to C.J. Spiller's 80-yard TD reception. Stephen A. Smith, what happened to those Cowboys? <sighs> I mean this affectionately. I want to make sure we all understand that I certainly don't wish, you know, physical harm on anybody when I'm making jokes about the Dallas Cowboys uh, in the interest of, of just making sure we get that out the way. When I call them an accident waiting to happen, I'm just saying what can go wrong will go wrong. I don't wish anything to any harm on anybody. I don't wish Sean Lee to go down yet again with concussion no. issues. I don't wish Lance, Lance Dunbar to be out with an ACL and an MCL injury and probably out for the year. I don't wish bad things on the Dallas Cowboys in that regard. But I will acknowledge to you that when they lose and they seem to reinvent ways to pull it off that way, it is somewhat comical to see Skip Bayless. Mm. I'm thinking about a Dallas Cowboys team, Skip Bayless, that was, what was it, 91 yards away, they were seven points down, and you had a backup quarterback in Brandon mm. Whedon that needed to sit up there and drive mm. this team down the field. I reminded you that it was the Saints. I did pick the Cowboys to win this game. You accused me of jinxing them. And you did. And I will openly confess that that's exactly yep. what I did. Okay. And it's a beautiful thing to realize. Mm -hmm. I didn't wish to jinx them in that way where the injuries were mm -hmm. taking place. But I did wish to jinx them in terms of the outcome. I'll openly confess that. But never in my wildest dreams, Skip Ellis, that I think that it would go down the way that it went down. Mm. For Brandon Whedon to drive them 91 yards. You understand? To connect with Williams on that TD pass in the right corner. To connect with him on a 24-yard pass before that, if I remember correctly. Cole Beasley and him hooked up on a 17-yard pass. Jason Witten and him hooked up on like a 29-yard pass. All of this went on in the same drive where Brandon Whedon, who had a relatively pedestrian game, didn't make any turnovers, but at the same time, there was nothing great about him up to this point. <laughs> the dude showed up when it counted most, Skip Bayless. And somehow, some way, he didn't look like a reserve. He looked like somebody, Molly, Skip, that was capable of leading these Dallas Cowboys, that was capable of filling those shoes of that dude on the sideline with the sling in his arm, with the microphone in his right hand, <laughs> shouting instructions, because he's usually the starting quarterback. His name is Tony Robo, by the way. Mm -hmm. You know, when I saw these things transpire, and I saw the Dallas Cowboys tie it up, I started laughing because I said to myself, you know something, there's plenty of time for Drew Brees to drive this team down the field. What a cruel, cruel ending it would be. But you know what? You know, I'm going to make the U.S. Wow. At that particular moment in time, Skip Bayless, <laughs> all of a sudden, I heard the announcer screaming, there he goes, C.J. Spiller's gone, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, on the second play, just 13 seconds in the overtime, Drew Brees delivered the goods. And I just want to end by saying this. Seems like every time you have somebody coming back, you have somebody else going down. Mm. It seems like, I mean, Sean, Sean Lee, I mean, Skip, what injury has this dude had, has, th has this dude not had? Hamstring, toe, neck, knee. I mean, the list goes on. Some dudes, and regardless of how talented they are, just ain't meant to play this game. Mm -hmm. And I don't mean it talent-wise, because I know Sean Lee can play. I'm talking about durability. You can be somewhat brittle, particularly in the NFL game. Mm -hmm. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I feel bad for you, bro, because New England is next. I'm sure, I'm is, New England, sure is, New England, is, is the New England next? Uh, a whole lot of people are next and next and after that next. <laughs> the floor is yours, Skip yeah. Bayless, but I just want to say my condolences. I truly, 
I, I truly mean it. You, you do <laughs> my, not truly my, mean my, it, but my, that's okay. My condolences, yeah. bro. Why do you have to get them all fired up? <laughs> By the way, before I start, at, at least I didn't pick Indianapolis to be in the Super Bowl. I know. Oh, that, that, that's, that's true. That's true. That that's true. Yeah. You got to be there. Who picked the Saints? But, 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 but that's <laughs> just here. Yeah. My heart's not with okay. Indy. Right. Your heart's mm. with Dallas. So you're suffering from a broken heart. Shots fired. You know Let's what? stay focused. There, there's one silver lining to what has happened. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that is your shtick is getting so old for me that now you're going to have to put it back in your little bag of tricks over there. And you're going to have to leave it there for a long time because I got to tell you. I, I'm concerned my Dallas Cowboys are about to become, dare I say, irrelevant because they are in for a rough, rough stretch. I told you they had two winnable games, Atlanta at home and at New Orleans. They were up 28 to 17 at halftime and obviously fell apart in the second half versus Atlanta. And last night they went to overtime and as soon as Jason Witten called tails you got to always call heads it's always heads i can't prove that mathematically but it just always seems to be heads on the overtime flip he calls tails it's heads i said i'm cooked because they weren't going to stop drew Brees at that point I, i'm sorry okay. i just have a yes. quick question are you trying to say that because he mm -hmm. called tails mm -hmm. instead of heads yeah that that well however you do it once you lose the coin flip to drew Brees at home with a gas defense mm -hmm. you're 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 basically done okay <laughs> and they just might be done for good we'll talk about that because i never heard that from you okay before. That's so a here's That's a here's my one. issue with with your take which is always the very same over and over and over again mm -hmm. to, to make me sick I, i'm physically sick over hearing you say accident waiting to happen yeah, i know an accident waiting to happen is when your big stars make crucial mistakes at crucial moments. Mm -hmm. Last night, my Dallas Cowboys, with no, crew, no, no big stars left, had zero turnovers at New Orleans. I thought that was pretty good, which leads to my bottom line off last night. I cannot tell you how proud I was of my Dallas Cowboys last night against increasingly decimated, not meant to be odds at New Orleans to get that game to overtime was sensational to me. Mm -hmm. And I want to applaud and thank Brandon Whedon for playing your tail off last night. He gave you next to no credit. You had a QBR of 81 and let a 91 yard drive to tie it at the end. I that is big time. Okay, drive. I know, but you said he, he I was said up until that point. Yeah, but an 81 on a scale yeah. of 100, that's, that's pretty high QBR because he deserved it. Okay, now back to, to my big picture bottom line. Look, the injury gods are just screaming at me, sorry, this year is not for you. It's not meant to be. Well, I could, that, that's not an accident waiting to happen. That's just bad luck. And I know you said, oh, I don't wish injury upon anybody. You but, know but I don't. This, is, this, has gotten, this has gotten almost laughable yeah. how, how bad the injuries mm -hmm. are because Sean Lee, you're right. He's brittle. We know that. But to, to lose yet another current best player on my defense in the first half last night after he played at an extremely high level, that's pretty hard to overcome against Drew Brees. And I know Drew Brees didn't have quite his arm last night, but it looked pretty good to me, i got to tell you. And then, do, do you understand what Lance Dunbar means to this football team? He is the most electric playmaker on the football team. He already had a 45-yard run on the second play of the game. And he tries to make a play from eight yards deep in the end zone and completely obliterates his knee on the tackle. And he's lost on the opening kickoff of the second half. And I was like, to quote the, the great Don Meredith, mm -hmm. turn out the lights, the party's over. But guess what Brandon Whedon did two series later? Wait a second. He goes bombs away to Bryce Butler. And I tried to tell you when they acquired him, he can fly. And he's 6'3". You know, he's a stud. He just needed to figure out how to play. And here he is, bombs away. Mm -hmm. And guess what happens? He gets hurt. He pulled his hamstring on this play. I thought he was going to score, and he couldn't go anymore, so he just stepped out of bounds. He should have scored. Well, that would have made it 17 to 10. That would have given me a little more cushion than 13 mm -hmm. to 10 because, of course, they coughed at that point and, and ended up with a field goal. Well, 17 to 10 might have put a little more pressure on you and the Saints at that point. So, so then my quarterback obviously leads the drive. Game is tied. Their, their kicker did miss a field goal, but we gave them with 12 men on the field. We had just given them a field goal a little early in the game, so I thought that was a wash. Then Jason Witten lose the overtime flip. And guess what happens on the first play of overtime, one that you omitted. 
Andrew Gatchgar, who is my backup to Sean Lee, backup linebacker, mm -hmm. gets picked on the play. I don't know if we have that one. He gets picked and just gets just hammered. And, and he limps off the field. Okay, now you have to throw Damian Wilson, your third string rookie linebacker, back into the game. He's a nickel linebacker. And you have to say on the fly, who do you have? Who do you have? Oh, wait a second. I'm supposed to cover. Oh, yeah, CJ Spiller. And he's, he's gone by before you even figured out what his assignment on the play was. And it's a home run. And the game is over. Well, what do you think is going to happen? Like, what, what can I do about that? My third string rookie linebacker is trying to cover CJ Spiller. That's just the injury God saying, I'm sorry. This one's not for you, Mr. Bayless. You're out this year. You're done. You know what? Well, I, I can't fight that. What we, tell me what I'm supposed to do. I can't, it's just one thing. I've, those aren't Freeze. accidents waiting to happen. That's just saying this is not your year. This team, should, listen, if this team had stayed whole as it did most of last year, it would run away with this division. Trust me, yeah. it would win it by two games. I agree. Okay, now... It, it's it, it's not only is it up for grabs, but my Cowboys are in danger of plummeting now into the cellar of the NFC East. And I know we're about to talk about that. Well, I appreciate your passion, and I'm definitely touched by, uh, you know, just the, the way you chronologized everything mm -hmm. and pointing out the, the plethora of injuries mm -hmm. that have taken place with the Dallas Cowboys. But I'd like you to keep in mind, and I'd ask you to keep in mind, Skip Bayless, that... When I say that the Dallas Cowboys are an accident waiting to happen, I don't just leave that statement out there. I go about the business of articulating my positions in a very vivid manner so we can understand exactly where I'm coming from. I have repeatedly told you since the day I started on this show that when you look at the Dallas Cowboys, whatever can go wrong will go wrong. That is what I have said. I have gone on a record and said, miraculous plays that work against them mm -hmm. injuries at inopportune times bad plays at inopportune moments etc etc i have repeatedly stated over and over and over again that something will go wrong with this organization because when you your mm -hmm. foundation is what they have been about then it's going to cost you. Yes, you paid, you, you You listen to Tony Romo finally, and you got him an offensive line. But you know what? What about karma, Skip Bayless? Mm -hmm. What about sitting there and not, uh, don't get me wrong, I understand that DeMarco Murray looks bad in Philadelphia, mm -hmm. but he didn't look bad in Dallas. Well, you know what? Dunbar going down, mm -hmm. I understand that. Whatever struggles Randall may have had, yep. though, I think he's been, I think he's been okay. Would you, could you, you didn't have that problem last year when DeMarco Murray was back there running the football. Mm -hmm. But see, what happens is... He broke that, his hand, what, by what, the way. What he happened, did break his yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. he still played. He mm -hmm. still came back and played. And what I'm saying to you is that when you don't take care of the people you're supposed to take care of, when you don't do the things that you're supposed to do, bad things end up happening sometimes. We are, it, it's applicable to everything else in life. Why would it not be applicable when it comes to the National Football yeah. League? When you look at the Dallas Cowboys... Yes, you've got Sean Lee, who's relatively brittle, but very, very gifted. We understand mm -hmm. that. Okay, but to get down with the concussion issues, okay? You look at a Rolando McClain, he's coming back. A Greg Hardy, he's supposed to come back, but we know why they're gone. Along with Randy Gregory, his foot, we know why he's gone. Orlando Skandrick, that's unfortunate, because he's a good guy as well as a really good corner. He's no prime time, but he's good. Okay, but he's down. I'm just looking at it from the perspective of, there was so much that went right with this team last year. All you had to do was be about the business of standing pat and coming back and going for it. But it's more, 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 mm -hmm. more hype, more bluster, more whatever you want to call it. And it interferes somehow, some way with what's going to transpire for the mm -hmm. Dallas Cowboys. I could have not have predicted anything specific was going to go down, mm -hmm. but I have repeatedly told you when, some, when it's time for something to go wrong, it will, because the fabric of this organization that you love just ain't intact, okay. and it continues to show. I'm going to say this again. I will give you interceptions, turnovers of any kind, block punts. You don't have to give I, me anything. I will give you playing down to, to an opponent mm -hmm. that you should 
crush yeah. and, and losing a game you shouldn't lose, that's an accident waiting to happen. Mm -hmm. These happen to, to two or three teams every yeah. year. They just get decimated. I'm not, I'm not sure. How about your Giants last not, year? Yeah. Were they yeah. Not just as decimated? Yeah, right? yeah the Cowboys don't, don't have any of their big three this year yeah. from well, last season. Wait a minute. Season. Wait a minute. You know, the New York Giants last Good. year, yeah, they've always had injuries on their offensive line. They've always had injuries somewhere, but Victor Cruz went down last year. What I'm saying to you is that the Dallas Cowboys, you can sit mm -hmm. there and give me whatever or not give me whatever you want. I'm, unfortunately, Skip Bayless, much to your dismay, mm -hmm. you don't get to make that call oh, because well, I am I, going to continue. I get to forever correct your call. No, no, no. That's well, what well, I get. Well, you can going, do whatever well, you, you want to go, do. You're I'm going to say what I'm going to say. You can say what you want to say. That's what I'm trying to say. You're going to get nauseated okay. with correcting me about the accident right. because I kept telling you. And by the way, they're going to come back. Des Bryant's going to come back. Tony Romo. You sure about that? I believe this. I'm just telling you what I believe. I think Tony Romo's going to come back. I think Des Bryant's going to come back. I think. Greg Hardy and Brad Gregory and Rolando McClain, definitely. Back, I think yes. they're going to be, I'm talking about not just return, but I think they're going to last. Mm -hmm. And right when you expect it, when, mm -hmm. those, when you don't expect it, something's mm -hmm. going to go wrong again because that's what happens with the Cowboys. Mm -hmm. This right. is what happens. Last quick thought. Sure. Mm -hmm. if, you, if you put DeMarco Murray on a lie detector right now, he would be say, back in I should have taken a little less money to stay home. A little less. Yeah. A little less. And I don't not, know what a little less but, was. But not, but not as little as I, Jerry I Jones that. wanted to give him. I get that. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Maybe so. So yeah. New England at Dallas, that's 425 yeah. on Sunday. The Cowboys now have lost five of six against the NFC South. So the Cowboys, Giants, and Redskins, as we mentioned,